Imagine this for a second. Huge pyramids. You see one of my uh, helpers up on the top of that one for perspective. Plazas, amphitheaters, altars. Just keep an eye on that nice little swirly thing right there. Residential units, food storage facilities. What we're looking at here is everything necessary for a civilization all surrounded by the Andes. I find working at Corral is an absolute delight. I find really only one serious problem there, showing perspective in my photos. It is so large that the photos have to be huge for anybody to see something that they understand, what they, what they could put into perspective. So we're going to start right here. You'll see a couple members of the excavation crew starting to head off for work in the morning. These pyramids are absolutely huge. The place is 5,000 years old. That makes it roughly contemporary with Egypt. Every region in the world has what they consider a cradle of civilization. We're all familiar with the first five, China, India, Egypt, Europe, and Mesoamerica. The only one missing that was the one for South America. And now, the sixth cradle of civilization, the anthropologists and archaeologists have found Corral. The only civilization older is Meso Mesopotamia. The archaeologists now also think that the geographic footprint for Corral extends several hundred miles up and down the coast of Peru and over the Andes and into the Amazon. So if this place is the big cheese, why have so few people heard of it before today? That an archaeological site existed at Corral has been known for about 100 years. However, it was considered a site of minor importance, um, really something more of a curiosity than anything significant. A couple of archaeologists kicked a few rocks around, a few looters dug a few holes, but they found nothing, so everybody called it a day and left. Corral has the added distinction of being located in the Chico Norte, a very hot, dry desert. So if you're here without good reason, really the first thing you're thinking about is how to leave. And so everybody did until 1994. Research now establishes that the site of Corral was occupied for 1,000 years, then abandoned and forgotten for the next 4,000 years. The population decided to evacuate Corral. They then buried the pyramids in stone and covered the plazas in, in sand. Remember those massive pyramids? This is what they were buried in. Just, just deciding to leave had to have been just a monumental task. Where they went, no one knows. Why they chose to leave, no one knows. This society had no written language, so they left no written record. Now there's another cool aspect of this whole population disappearing business. Except for Corral, all the other cradles of civilization suffered significant de degrees of destruction due to war, due to looting. What this did was it mixed everything up. Corral, unique of all, to all civilizations, remained buried, untouched and unremembered. The result of this is Corral now gives us an undisturbed view into the thinking of modern man living before recorded time. Everything here belongs to this time period and no other. Hundreds of non-fired artifacts have been found. Some of these artifacts have been laying just several inches below the surface of the desert, slowly baking for four or 5,000 years. Flutes indicating a music tradition. Jewelry was clearly important. This is an earring, a necklace, uh, a necklace too, and you'll see how the, the closed part broke off at the bottom and another necklace. And again, you'll see here the swirls of that corral symbol. Several petroglyphs have been found at corral. Some of them can be quite charming. They do, however, present a problem for the archaeologists. There's no effective way to date them. They can't be carbon dated because there's no carbon. Corral confronts another fundamental hypothesis concerning how and why civilizations develop. It was previously believed that people began to gather together simply for common protection. But look around this site. Corral, for a thousand years, unguarded by any fortifications, reveals no evidence of warfare. No weapons have been found, no bodies have been broken, nothing's been busted up. 
for a thousand years, Corral appears to have been a peaceful society. Now, the people of Corral did not just build these pyramids and plazas anywhere they wanted. One theory considered by archaeologists is that each pyramid in the valley corresponds to an adjacent hill. The purposeful positioning of the major structures also seems to reflect a mathematical and celestial understanding. Now, we can see two things in this photo here. Again, the pyramid that seems to mirror the, the hill behind it. Also, remember this monolith right to the right. We'll find that same monolith right here in the, right here in the middle. What we're looking at here is we're seeing how the monolith appears to serve as an axis for the entire plaza. Being buried in sand and stone has protected Corral for 4,000 years. Now that it's being uncovered, it's being exposed. The looters would love to get their hands on some of those artifacts. About five years ago, a graveyard was discovered at one of the satellite sites of Corral. This is the damage the looters did in only three nights of work. It's about a five foot hole after five foot hole after five foot hole, just destroying the entire field. These people are serious about illegally profiting from Corral. In addition, some of the local population would like to seek, seize Corral and use it as farmland. They've been accused of, uh, of intentionally destroying any archeology span so that they may continue to use the land unhindered. The soil here is very fragile. Several farmers plowed this area about 20 years ago, and we can see its effects today. Although archeologists did not excavate until recently, and the local population never disturbed Corral, the site has long been a center of worship for local beliefs. Various ceremonial offerings are frequently found around both the excavated and, and unexcavated structures. Even though the excavations only began in 1994, you have to remember really, this was just really yesterday to an archeologist. Corral's influence is being investigated throughout South America. For those of you familiar with Machu Picchu, construction techniques developed at Corral 5,000 years ago are evident in Inca construction from 500 years ago. Now, Corral might not have had a written language, but it might have had a means to communicate. The painting found on this stone is of a quipu, which, in, which is often called the talking strings. Quipus were still used when the Spanish showed up in South America about 500 years ago. Essentially, strings could be knotted in a pattern by one person, and that pattern would be understandable by another person. There are still many mysteries associated with Corral. For one, the archaeologists still have not found a graveyard from the era. This is important, as you know, because burial rituals tell us a lot about a society. Instead, they have found only one tomb. And as we all know, no one knows where the, why the population left the city or where they went. To stay current on the excavations, I go to Corral twice a year and I photograph for about a week at a time. My intention is to use the beauty or intrigue of the photos to draw people in. Rather than hitting somebody over the head with the message of, pay attention, this is important, we all understand that if a viewer looks at a photograph and, and asks, what is this, we've set the hook to teach. Yes, I wish you were here, but really, I hope to see you there. Nos vemos en Corral. I'll see you in Corral and I think it should be fun. <laughs>